what's up guys welcome back to the average artist in my infinite search for a great art supply i have come across popcorn pens okay i know what you're thinking how can a pen be popcorn well stay for the video because you're gonna find out this is a brand called dong a eh? we're gonna be looking at these pens they actually sent me two sets which i don't know why i thought i ordered just one so maybe they felt sorry for me for the extortionate shipping costs and we're just like, okay, we're going to send you two. So seeing as they sent me two packs, I'm going to give away this second pack of popcorn coloured pens. So if you want this, make sure you comment down below what you like about the pens and also like and subscribe to me, to me, <laughs> to be in the chance of winning these pens and I'll send them out to you because they're pretty cool. Um, yeah. So let's get on with the video. So let's try these bad boys out, shall we? Let's go. So these are what the pens look like. They have a lovely feature called having the brand name Dong A on the side and popcorn color. So let's see, they're all neon, which, you know, not a huge fan of neon, but beggars can't be choosers because I really like what effect these pens do and i've got a few ideas of what we can do with them okay so you guys if you know me you know that i don't usually uh swatch stuff but i want to swatch these to show you what they do first of all okay let's open them they've got a little cap on the top i think yes they do i'm just gonna scrape that away <laughs> and we're gonna get using these okay so first of all you think okay very normal great yeah a blue pen right it's a little bit gloopy okay we see that right then what you do is you take your hair dryer or your heat gun or whatever it may be and you do this and it dries it in this kind of like popcorny textured lump which you know is not that attractive but it's fun so we're gonna see what we can create with these i'm gonna swatch the other colors and we're gonna see how they turn out feels kind of like soft and squishy and a little bit like popcorn i would say so no wonder they're called popcorn pens because it does kind of bubble up like a popcorn piece which is really exciting um let's swatch the other ones i think i'll just do a smaller dot for these ones because uh, that I was at first worried that it wasn't going to do anything. I was like, I've been lied to. It's not going to do anything. But actually, it did bubble up. So, whoop whoop. Here's the pink, which I'm always excited to see. Even though it is a neon pink, it's still cute. Neon orange and yellow. Now, let's use the heat and see what happens. So this is what they look like after the heat. As you can see, they've raised quite a bit, which is so crazy and interesting. They're like squishy. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but I've done some really rough um, drawings and I've just left them rough because I know I'm gonna go over with a popcorn pen. I'm just trying to see like how much detail we can really put in these images considering that they become really textured and yeah they'll probably cover up a lot of detail I also want to try layering them which I think could be fun okay so they are super runny so if you use these just bear that in mind I really do want to cover up the lines as well because I think probably will run over that when they expand when I put the heat on but maybe it will make for some like interesting style I don't know so I'll leave that white just to see like what it looks like it kind of looks like a gloopy mess right now it doesn't really look like a uh, vase or whatever ours vase uh, i'm gonna make the petals pink okay pesto they kind of blend into each other um maybe i'll dry this layer and then we'll add more layers as i go so let's dry this layer and see what it looks like this is how it comes out when it's dry it's super weird but it's like fun and satisfying it's like i don't know it's really soft to the touch it's like a squishy and yeah here's what we're all thinking does it layer um i mean this is a pretty hard like dry surface now so let's see what happens when i add another layer to them okay 
lesson learned about not putting them like so close to each other as well so if I want to do this one it's like maybe not uh, I think I'm gonna fill this gap in because that looks a bit silly now um, I don't know what else to do uh, these stars they're probably not gonna stay in that shape but we can try <laughs> I think yeah if you want to use these pens detail is your enemy <laughs> And there we go, that's what it looks like. It's so funny. I really like this uh, weird texture. It's so cool. Um, yeah, you can layer them. I guess it kind of um, emulates the color that's underneath it. So you can see here, this is kind of lighter than this one, but um, let's continue on and do some more. I wanna do loads now, <laughs> I'm a bit obsessed. But let's do this strawberry. And actually the uh, detail thing, if you, dry it slowly and then realize that the first like the top layer is dry and then going with a high heat it does kind of work i think it probably will work better if you have like a heat gun the tool that's probably made for stuff like this a bit better i want to see if i can mix oh wait i need to dry this layer first let's do it so now i want to mix like the blue and the green together it's the blue and the green the blue and the yellow together to try and make a green so let's see if that actually it does happen it, uh, 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 I don't want to like. Okay. It seems to be a little bit clogged. I'm just gonna drop some colours in there. Can I mix it with maybe a paintbrush? Not really giving green, but <laughs> it's kind of working. It's more bluey, but yeah, it's kind of cute. I'm loving this strawberry though, it's so cute. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this cute little puffy strawberry? Ah, so cute, look at it. Look at it, it's so puffy. Um, okay, so I wanna fill in the seeds. I wasn't sure what color to do. I'm just gonna go with purple because it's like the darkest. It is kind of cute. Um, wish I had just left that empty maybe because I think it was cute then. I'm gonna try and do the rest of these quickly and then I wanna make like little stickers with a sticker paper. I'm gonna put these, the ones I like, redo them and cut them out. And I think that'll be really cute because you can make your own puffy stickers at home. Craziness. And here's how they came out. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna rub out this line because it's bothering me. Okay, well, yeah, loving it. I really like how this milk one came out. I wanna do a quick test of just like pen on top of um, them or whatever, just to see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna do some strawberry stickers, I think. Yeah, as as assumed, it looks kind of awful. Yeah, that's what it looks like with it. Then it kind of flattens it completely, it takes away all like the texture of it. Really like the strawberry, like the milk, but I think I'm gonna do a strawberry on this stick of paper and then, um, yeah, cut it out, I guess. So I have some like label sticker paper here. It's uh, so you can see they're just labels, but what I want to do is do some strawberries on here. So I'm just gonna copy that strawberry and then cut them out. But I want to do them a bit smaller, maybe. Oh, I just realised I didn't even show that on camera. Brilliant. And here is what they look like quite puffy I think you could probably add like more to it if you want to make them super puffy I'm gonna try that because I want super puffy uh, strawberries okay let's see extra puff ridiculous puffiness can you see that that's amazing okay now I want to do some leaves Put that and then a little bit of blue inside and there we go, some super puffy strawberries. Now let's cut them out, because I think they are gonna look cute. Okay, so here's how they look. I think they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine just being bored in school and, oh, I guess you can't really heat gun these in school. <laughs> but I'm gonna stick them on to my 2023 diary and we'll see how they work. Oh, 
and it's kind of satisfying to squish them as well. Puppy. And there we go, some lovely puppy stickers, just homemade cuteness. What do you think? I think those are so cute. I love these pens. What do you guys make of these pens? Um, do you want to try them out? Uh, just like, yeah, put a comment down below if you want to test these out because uh, you could win some. But thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you like this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.